We've heard for years that cricket is just a game and never has that been more true than in the past month when we look at the natural devastation that's happened with all the flooding in many areas of Queensland. Too many houses and too many lives have been lost by this natural disaster. And although it's just a game, these Australian cricketers have made a difference to some of the hardest hit communities. driving through now and, and seeing where the levels were and um, it, it's hard to believe but um, you know the Queensland spirits um, you know nice and strong and um, you know sticking behind each other and I mean you know the, the day after it all happened you, you know you see the, the pictures of everyone lending a hand and, and you know digging that mud up and um, you know just doing everything that possibly they can to, to help. to be here today and uh, to try and put a smile on these kids' faces. Obviously, they've been hit pretty hard here. You know, it's so sad seeing what some people have lost. You know, what young kids that are, are at primary school have to go through. Um, so again, it makes you realise how lucky we are. Even if it's for a split second, try and get them thinking about, you know, something else apart from, you know, the, the you know, really the deep-rooted scars that are going to be there for these young kids who have been so, you know, badly affected by these floods. So. Um, you know, that's, we're in a very lucky position to be able to try and make some difference, you know, and if it is at all, so, um, and that's where we've got to make, you know, make the most of days like today. Well, when you see certain things on television, I don't think it sinks in like when you have the opportunity to go there and, and see the damage. I think we've seen so many houses that the actual structure of the house was still there, but there was nothing, like the whole inside was just destroyed, empty. You know, the people, or any of the people there were, were trying to clean up, still trying to clean up, but it was just so quiet and um, such a mess, I guess. But um, yeah, to see the kids at school running around and still smiling and, and having a good time, it, it, it makes you put life into perspective, I guess. And for us, you know, we signed plenty of autographs and played a bit of cricket and I played a bit of soccer, which was a bit of fun, get away from cricket for a bit. To actually be here today in Goodna in you know one of the worst hit areas um, you know, of South East Queensland is um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's a it's a great thing for the Australian cricket that we as a team could come out here and um, you know show our support. A lot of the kids yesterday at the schools you know said please win please win you know and, uh, on Sunday so I think the least we can do is is give our roar and continue to you know play our best cricket and um, I'm confident if we do that you know we'll get a result which will not only be great for, for us in this series, but will hopefully put a few smile on, smiles on some kids' faces as well. Obviously we can't forget what's happening in Victoria and WA with, with floods there as well, so the Australian spirit is very high and, and always in these situations are always very supportive, so um, it's great to see. One of the things about the city that we all know is the floods is hitting our property, but I can tell you what, it hasn't dampened our spirit. Life's you know, bigger and greater than you know, a career game, even though I, lo I, love pl I absolutely love playing it. But um, you know, to see the devastation that's been around is um, um, something that you really couldn't imagine you know, in, in your lifetime. So um, you know, in everyone's hearts go out to these people who their lives have been totally turned upside down.